Next. Insurance. We talked about this in the room. Uh, insurance. Uh, but it's something that has to be addressed. There, I know there are, are insurance options for individuals, but they are what expensive, awful, terrible. So I'm wondering. Yes, I can. It's, it's gotten better. The answer is be Canadian. Yeah, right. <laughs> my, my, my wife is a full time job. I was expecting my wife as a full time Canadian, and I was like, <laughs> <laughs> it works too. But it'd be nice to know what the insurance options are for individual people. Who are trying to don't don't get older than forty. Yeah. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Colleen, my yes. answer for you is to move back to Los Angeles. There are, not surprisingly, a large number of insurance opportunities for people with non-traditional jobs <laughs> in probably California as a whole, I didn't look that one up, but certainly in Los Angeles, which I did not find when I was doing my spreadsheets for DC. So as they say, your mileage may vary, yes. but, but the options are out there. Also. Um, Whatever you're doing, if you get a health insurance, make sure you don't get terrible health insurance because I also had terrible health insurance for a couple of months that was coming in at like $75 a month that I had to pay them, but then when I went to the, uh, the walk-in clinic, it, it ended up costing me almost $1,000. It was ridiculous. So what I mean to say is this, read the fine print and there are options. I, I would have to look at your individual city and run a comparison. You can hire me to do that if you want. <laughs> We about spent about story. two or three years trying to figure this out, especially with a child. Um, she had, we got her insurance immediately, uh, and and we still had insurance for you know a year while I was still working. But um, it was important for us that she be taken care of, so we got her. Turns out, for a brand new, perfect little human, insurance isn't that bad. Uh, we pay about a hundred dollars a month for medium to crappy insurance for her. One emergency room visit, uh, the bill came back at eight thousand dollars, and we owed thirty five hundred of it still. So. That, that's kind of how it goes. Um, for people, for adults, for humans, um, it turns out uh, it, currently in America, and this all changes a bit in 2014, but uh, currently uh, for two uh, married people in relatively good health um, in their 30s, uh, we could be paying, if we wanted to, about 450 500 a month uh, for really, really not great insurance. And uh, the kind of thing where you, you factor that out over the year, about $6,000. Okay, we haven't had insurance for five years. We end up with a few thousand dollars of medical expenses a year, um, less than we'd be paying for insurance. Here's where it gets tricky. Something terrible happens, car crash, we've got nothing. And you can actually get uh, catastrophic insurance only if you're scared about that. Um, something that is like, I just got my head chopped off by a helicopter. Uh, they can stitch it back on, and it's you know not as much as regular insurance. It, it comes down to: Are you looking for health insurance? Or are you looking for a health care plan? I, I and think all the options in America are pretty terrible right yep. now. So yeah. I, it, that's what it comes well, down to. Our time to terminology. Just don't get sick. You know? yeah, yeah. 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 Exactly. Don't get sick. That's what I'm on. Yeah.